Okay, so here's my Model A. Oops, set back a little bit. And doing the steel roof on it. So I think we're getting close to be able to take another shot at the steel insert, the flat sheet steel insert, but I'm gonna fill these things in. So I'm gonna use my little roller here. So this is a square tubing bender. Just kind of can arc the metal. I think they make once for round also, but I haven't done that yet. Makes a cool sound. Okay, so the whole point of that is to make some radius segments. I'm gonna weld in here the next part of the roof. So you can see what I just did there. There it is. There's the little edges. That's this thing, the sheet metal doesn't move all over the place. That's the inside view. Anyway. Okay, there it is. The whole perimeter is all locked down. No loose metal anywhere. And this thing is gonna be ready for the metal insert roof with final covering. Finally got here. Okay, don't forget about the little weird little corners too. They're hard to weld. This metal is very old and probably was 22 or 24 gauge originally. Anyway, coming soon. Okay, so here's the insert I tried to make. I think it was earlier this year. I totally B-rolled it too much and it uh, popped out too much. Besides, I was trying to put a bead on here, which is difficult on such a large piece. So I'm gonna try to do this flat and then just uh, and then just put some fabric on top of it. Okay, so I just traced it all out, added an inch. All right, so I'm about to cut this out and lay it on there. Maybe I'll make some notes on where the thing needs to be shrunk, stretched, or bent, or whatever. Let's see that in a second. Okay, here it is. I've got it laid down. It's a little long on the front, a little short on the sides. I'm gonna try to do it. Um, still think it just needs a little bubble in the middle. Maybe I'll go around and shrink the edges and trim a little bit more off the face of it. It's pretty close though. I added a quarter inch all around. It's still a little, it's still a little small here. Anyway. Do it twice, but if you fuck it up, then you have to start over. Um, so we're gonna try to just go like, let's try to do like the clock, 12 passes, you know, and just try to move an increment like that through the middle, if possible, and not, I've got the, I've got the light wheel, yeah, let's keep it level. Is there resistance to it? Okay, now let's go towards me, and back. Okay, we shrunk it gently, kind of in a pizza fashion on the English wheel, and we kind of went around the perimeter where it needed. I stuck this in a pipe anvil here. There's my sloth band-aid. Um, we'll probably, might trim this up a little bit, um, but I think this is a good effort. This is all I have time for today. Way better than the first one. 
It fits nicely against the steel on the interior. I'm gonna do a perimeter of like 5 16 threaded rod, drill them through and weld and grind them off flat here. That's how it's gonna hold down. And I've got this fabric, I'm gonna high 90 of the surface. Okay, here's the boat vinyl. Uh, just got this on eBay. This piece was like 20 bucks. So anyway, this will be done at some point in the future, hopefully in the next month, you'll see it finished. I'm gonna conclude this video now, just because I don't know when I'm gonna get back, back to this. And I think there's some good footage in here on how to do this. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, thank you.